I've been thinking a lot about whether or not cloud gaming is ready for the mainstream. And I had been meaning to do a video about it, but yesterday I was doing a live stream and the topic kind of came up and I just started talking about it. And I feel like I summed up my thoughts on it pretty well. So I figured rather than sit down and say all of the things that I've already said about it, I would clip out that bit of the live stream and put it in this video so that uh, people could understand my thoughts about whether or not cloud gaming is ready. But first, this video is brought to you by Oivo Gaming. I kind of go back and forth on which I prefer. Controllers that have built-in batteries that charge via USB-C or controllers that have uh, hot swappable batteries because then you don't have any downtime. You just swap out the batteries and go. The only downside to having those hot swappable batteries is the expense of buying batteries over and over and over again and the environmental impact that comes from throwing batteries away over and over. Now controllers that have a built-in battery, they don't have this problem, but over time that battery is going to wear out and eventually you will have to replace the entire controller rather than just the battery. That's where the Oivo rechargeable battery packs and charger station come in. Oivo reached out to me and asked if there were any products that I wanted to check out. I looked at this one and I said, absolutely. They shipped it out to me and it comes with two 1200 milliamp hour battery packs that are perfect for the Xbox Series X controllers. Now, instead of running downstairs and going through the box of batteries that we have, I can simply walk over to my charging station, pull the new battery out, swap it out within 10 seconds and be right back in my game. It's incredibly convenient better for the environment, and overall, I think it's awesome. You can pick one up on Amazon for 20 bucks, or if you use the link in the description down below, you can get one for 20% off. Now, they also have a bunch of other stuff that they sell, some of which I would absolutely use and some of which I would not, and there is an additional link in the description so that you can check out their entire Amazon store. Again, to save 20%, make sure that you use the link in the description down below. I promise you, this is not supposed to be like some kind of hot take in order to make people mad or whatever. I don't think cloud gaming is ready for prime time. I just don't. The more that I try to use Xbox cloud gaming, the more frustrated I get. And it has to do a lot. A lot of it has to do with the fact of people that I've talked to who have said nothing but glowing things about Xbox Cloud Gaming. They said it just works, it's awesome. It feels like I'm playing on a local machine. And then I have the complete opposite experience where I try using it and it just does not work. It's super latency heavy. I can't shoot the dudes that I'm trying to shoot when I'm playing Halo and it's terrible. And I know that it's not my internet because I play Stadia I play uh, GeForce Now, I've played Luna, I've played all of these things and they all work great, but Xbox doesn't. And somebody might say, well, okay then, Bill, that just means that Xbox isn't ready for prime time. But no, I don't think that that's what it says. I think that it says as a whole, because it's, because it's unpredictable, cloud gaming is not ready for the masses yet. It's absolutely the cloud gaming is absolutely the future, but the future is only here for some of us and for others, they cannot pull into the future. And, you know, people would hear me say this and they would say, uh, okay, so what are the things that make it not ready? And other people might start listing, ah, well, game ownership, you know, they might think you don't own your games. To which I would say that's a paper tiger. Like when you look at the idea behind ownership of a game, it really sounds like, yeah, you know what? You're right. I want to own my games. I don't want to license them. And I totally understand that. But there's been plenty of games that have come out that you cannot play anymore because the servers that use them, that that, 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 that game used because it was an online game have disappeared. And, and even, even if I bought a disc for my Xbox here, even if I bought a disc for it and put the disc in, 
the disc is really just a fancy licensing key that says, hey, it's okay if Bill plays this game. So I don't actually own the games that are on my Xbox either. But that's not the, like, I feel like that that argument about ownership is a paper tiger, in my opinion. It's It seems like a really good argument on its surface, but then when you get closer, you realize, oh, it's not a tiger. It's just a cardboard cutout. I really don't have to be scared of that. So what is the real reason? The real reason is the unpredictability. I can go to a store. Well, okay, let's pretend for a second that we don't have the 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 results of the pandemic and the fact that we can't get the the chip shortage uh, under control. But let's imagine that that's not the case. And I go to a store and I buy an Xbox. And you go to a store and you buy an Xbox. And we both pick up Forza Five. And we go home, we sit down, which, by the way, is an awesome game. Uh, we go home, we sit down, we plug it into our TVs, we put the disc in, and we play it. We will have the same experience. You and I, both with our Xboxes, both with Forza, we would both have identical gaming experiences. Whereas I play on Stadia, and you play on Stadia. I run into zero issues. You run into a non-stop latency fest and you can't figure out why. Meanwhile, you're playing on Xbox Cloud Gaming and I'm playing on Xbox Cloud Gaming and I'm running into a non-stop latency fest and I can't figure out why. So you call up Stadia and I call up Microsoft and I'm like, what the hell? How am I gonna fix this? What What's the problem here? And they're like, well, check your local network, uh, call up your ISP. There's so many variables that people can't figure out that we'll just give up and go back to the old way. So somebody might hear me say that and say, well, hold on a sec, Bill. You do a podcast every week about Stadia, a cloud gaming service. So are you just blowing smoke at us? Do you not think that it's awesome? And no, I think Stadia is awesome. I think GeForce Now is awesome. They both have some things that I'd change, but overall, I think they're great. Um, but they're not ready for everybody because not everybody can have a a the same experience. And if somebody runs into a problem with that experience, there's no real good way to diagnose the problem. So until it's more reliable, and I'm not saying that my Stadia is unreliable. I'm just saying until everybody can reliably receive the same experience from playing video games in the cloud, and until it's easier for Google and Microsoft and NVIDIA and uh, Amazon to diagnose where the problem is in the signal chain, I just don't think it's ready for the masses. And Yes, most people have access to internet that is fast enough for it, but there's a lot of places, especially here in the States, where you just can't get internet that is fast enough for cloud gaming. Uh, my dad lives 10 miles away. He has dial-up, not because he chooses to have dial-up, but because when he called up Spectrum, I think they were Time Warner Cable at the time, when he called them up and said, hey, I want to have fast internet at my house. They said, oh, you live far enough away from the road that we're going to charge you $5,000 to lay the cable in the hole that you already dug. And he said, well, then I'll just use dial up and, and said, no, thank you. So I think that we've got one more generation of a box under your TV. One more generation of that. The the next Xbox and the next the PS6 and whatever they decide to call the next Xbox. I think we've got one more generation of that before the world is ready for cloud gaming. So is the future here? It absolutely is, but just not for everybody. What do you guys think? Let me know. Tell me in the in the chat or in, if you're watching this after the fact in the comment section down below. I'm very curious what everybody thinks.